All right. Hello, everyone. This is SMA Watts, and we're about to play some modern. We had a uh, buy the first round, so uh, we won the toss. We're going to choose to play first. Hello, and good luck. It's a greedy. That is the greediest keep I've ever kept if I keep that. Uh, cause I need, no, I can't keep that. Would you like to mulligan to six? Yes, I would like to mulligan to six. That's terrible, but I'll keep it. No, I won't mulligan to five. So, land, island, curse catcher. We have a turn two spreading season, or turn three sword. So, like, we can probably force the sword down, depending on what our opponent's playing, but... We might have nothing to do with our sword. Okay, our opponent played an island. So we swing with our curse catcher. And we have to drop our coral helm because, well, spreading seas against islands kind of sucks. These are not the right islands. I'm very unhappy. These are not the islands they're supposed to be. I'm supposed to be using my uh, Zendikar full islands. So let's see what our opponent has. He went. Uh, he's got an academy runes for a talisman of domination. Okay, so he's playing. Uh, All right, we got two choices. I could drop my sword. I could drop a curse catcher, pump Coral Helm Commander up to a 3-3 three, three flyer and beat for four. Uh, you know, I think I'd rather drop the sword. It forces him into a very difficult position. Because now he needs to deal with one of my creatures very aggressively. Because any of my creatures becomes a very, very rapid threat. And we have the Cursed Catcher to protect our Coral Helm Commander, should we sword him up. We have Spreading Seas to sort of derail our opponent if he plays a Fest. Okay, another talisman, that's fine. I I gotta be honest, I have no idea what my opponent's plan is. This is strange. Treasure Mage. Alright, so he's playing Treasure Mage. And he's searching for A mind slaver. But that's okay. He doesn't have enough mana to play it. Um. Hmm. So let's go ahead and sort up our. You can't him and swing in all right uh let's just go ahead and kill his dude draw our card So if our opponent has land, mind slaver, we need to be able to kill him still. So we're gonna play our curse catcher. Because if he goes land, mind slaver, we just 
uh, make his academy runes not an academy runes. We'll prevent him from locking us. Thirst for knowledge, okay. So he discards his mind slaver, discards a mind slaver, and a worm coil. I thought if you discarded an artifact, you only had to discard one. Hmm. Maybe my. I. I don't know. Okay, so if I play my Miro Regery. Um. Two. Four. Nine, not enough to kill him. So let's go ahead and just beat down. I don't know what my opponent's doing with two colorless. <sighs> Master of the Pearl Trident. So we're going to go ahead and spreading seas that so that he can't get any of his artifacts back. Draw our card. And it's another spreading seeds, not bad. opponent has to survive this turn. Another thirst for knowledge. Uh, I don't know what he can draw that gets him out of it, so I'm not going to try and... Like, I could tap him out. But I don't know what he what would get him out of, like, what the draw that he needs is. And besides, I have pretty much a guaranteed win next turn. I play, like, if I have to, I play Master of the Pearl Trident. Master of the Pearl Trident. My, cor my curse catchers kill him. If I don't, my... Yeah, I mean, almost anything I did that turn, like, I win that turn. All right, so I'm not, our opponent's got to be playing some form of uh, Tron, right? So, I mean, I guess we bring in Spreading Seas. And... Vapor Snag is worse against him. He's playing Mind Slaver Lock. Uh, and we and hard counters are. We take out our mana leaks. And we bring in our dissipates and a spell pierce because we want hard counters and early counters. I think. I think that's what we do. Still not 100% sure what my opponent's playing, since he's got 
like Academy Ruins tells you know and Tron and like it looks like Tron except he had Thespian stage and I don't know why you would ever play Thespian stage in Tron. Like I don't know what the what tech what the plan with Thespian stage is. That is a very keepable hand. Uh, no, I would not like to mulligan it. Our opponent did mulligan, so that's always a, uh, what is that, a point for the good team? Go, go, good guys. All right, so Aether Vial. Okay. So he is playing Tron. Uh, yes. Yes, I would like to use this ability. Uh, we'll go ahead and play a Mutavolt. And we will say done, because we can just drop our Curse Catcher that way. And then we can threaten for uh, five next turn. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could just curse catch it. That actually seems pretty good. Just keep him off of uh, card advantage. We'll counter it. I mean, yeah, I'm giving up two points of damage, but I'm preventing him from gaining uh, card advantage on me. I'm trading one for one instead of... Uh, Yes, I wish to use this ability. We're going to go ahead and plot the Atlantis into play. We're going to make him a 2-2 creature. And beat in for three. We've still got Spell Pierce and Vapor Snag to protect ourselves. opponents on a couple turn clock. He wants to repeal our Aether Vial. That's... doesn't draw you a card or anything, does it? Okay, you can repeal my Aether Vial. That's fine. I mean, it throws me back, like, a turn. Perhaps the worst thing to draw. And we beat in for another five. Replay our Aether Vial, keep Spell Pierce up. See what our opponent's plan is.
I'm just going to throw this back a, a bunch of turns, because Silver, Silver Gill Egg Depth's going to take forever to cast that way. He's got Tech Edge, which kills my Muta Vault, if he's wanting to go that way. Can't stop thirst for knowledge this time. What if my opponent knows that's an instant and he's allowed to cast instants on my turn? Discards a tower. Okay. You have to discard another card. That's not an artifact. And a mana leak, so he discarded a counter spell. Okay. Uh, yes, I'd like to use that ability. He's just going to tech edge me. Why don't I just go ahead and play my Silver Gill Adept? Reveal my Merfolk. And we can beat down for two. And put him in a position where I can hit him for uh, a lot next turn. Yeah, so we're, we're threatening lethal next turn. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you would do, actually. <laughs> Talisman of Domination's fine. Uh, yes, I'd like to use the ability. Yes, I'd like to use the ability. Can't quite, ki couldn't quite kill him. Wasn't quite doing my math right there. But with a vapor snag and a spell pierce in my hand, I'm fairly confident that nothing. I, I almost don't know what he could have that would enable him to pull ahead of me here. He would have to have something that um, okay, Treasure Mage is fine because all of my creatures have Island Walk. Also, I could just Vapor Snag him back to your hand. I can't counter him. You have three mana. So, and did you play land this turn? You played an island. So no matter what, you know, Worm Coil Engine's just not good enough. Okay. Take a uh, shitload.
Good games. Alright, so that was a very odd version of Tron. Like, 